for those who aren't familiar, 50, 30, 20 strategy or principle refers to 50% of your spending being on those fixed expenses. Again, those, those core needs, and then 30% being on your wants. So the things that you, you want to do, um, and then the remaining 20% being on savings and paying off debt. So it's a nice mixture. I personally love the conscious spending plan. I think 50, 30, 20 is really easy because A, from a sequence perspective, it's really easy to create. You just simply add your income source and then create three different accounts, whether you want to link existing bank accounts that you have. So in fact, here, let me just show you, here's how I would do it. So in this case, we're just starting with John's income of $6,000 a month, okay? Now, what you can do is most people already have a checking account. And so I'm gonna sync up a checking account because that's what everybody's used to having. And again, we're in the playground environment. So there'll be a few more steps to actually link a real checking account and it'll show your real balance. Right now it's just automatically populating a random number. But I'm gonna treat this, I can click on here and I can change the name and let's just stick with the, uh, with the 50, 30, 20 principle. And I like to label mine what it actually is. So this is my fixed account. It is my checking account, right? Of 50%. So I've got that taken care of. Then you might not have more checking accounts. So you can use these other accounts as pods because I think that's a really effective way to do it. So I'm gonna create a new pod and I'm gonna call this wants and that's 30%. And if I click on here, you'll know, Again, it will create a real routing and account number. These aren't real, but when you actually do it, it'll create a real one and it'll create a debit card for you, a digital debit card. So like you can actually spend from these accounts. That's why it's so powerful. Okay. So now we've created wants. And then lastly, I'm gonna create another pod for savings and debt, 20%. So I've now got my 50, 30, 20, right? And all I need to do to create this rule to get started, click on the plus, drag it over to fixed. And then when you're creating a rule, there's always two ways to do it. Trigger it by anytime funds come in there. So anytime I get paid, or I can do it by date. I'm personally a bigger fan of doing it whenever the funds get triggered, like whenever I get paid, because it's pretty consistent, right? It's not, I'm not doing side jobs to just, you know, make random amounts of money at random times. It's paid on a monthly or, or biweekly basis. So now I'm in the rules. I'm gonna ignore conditions right now because let's just keep this simple. So now that I wanna transfer 50% to my fixed account, I'm gonna click save. And that rule is created, as simple as that, right? Now, if I wanna do another rule, I can click and drag over to wants. And again, trigger by incoming funds. And look at this, you'll see it has my existing 50. Now I'm gonna do 30% to wants. Okay. And instead of saving and exiting, I can click this add account button here it's going to automatically fill it with the remaining 20 and I just need to click, click savings and debit, or excuse me, savings and debt. And so now I have my three rules. So I've effectively accomplished the 50, 30, 20. Now I need to make sure that my spending is actually there. And that's why we've created some budgeting worksheets and have a lot of our workshops to help people understand it. But this is how simple it is to actually set this process up because you're probably already paying your mortgage, your car payment, everything, all of your fixed expenses out of your checking account. So you don't right. need, even need to change anything. Now it's about when you want to order that stuff on Amazon, when you want to, you know, purchase the vacation or go out to dinner. Now, this is the account that we can use because we actually have a real debit card, a digital debit card for this account. So that honestly makes it a little bit harder for us to instantly spend on that money. And then savings and debt, again, we can start to link this to existing accounts so that we can send it to where we owe debts, to where we want to send our investment money. But just showing how simple it is to get started, this is a really, really good way to, to go about getting started.